Uh, but yeah, that was it. Oh, dude, it was it again. It just, I need, I just, I should have done better. I should have done better. Notice how it happens though when I'm not concentrating, when I'm just having fun. It goes in my favour. Well, kind of. Got it. Let's go, stream. Beautiful. Mission complete. Light work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna quickly show the build, I guess. Um, my own, this is my own build that I've done from like tweaked everything to the paragon board some of the stuff you'll see in the build which is kind of common but uh from my build i got noxious ice on the helmet cooldown reduction 15 stats poison imbuement healing received and obviously as you can see the noxious ice then we've got manglers in the chest we've got poison damage physical damage damage imbuement skill damage lucky hit 43 percent then we got the Fists of Fate, decent roll as well. We're quite a high roll, 290. Uh, Archons, Disobedience. So we haven't hit, I've got a basic 15 off the, off the Codex. Because uh, as you know, our aspects get ridiculous. I've actually got a 21%, but I just didn't put it on. Penitent Greaves, high rank for this one as well. My Crossbow, we got 807, 25 item power, 2603 damage. Vulnerable damage, Crit Strike, Core Skill, Dex. Imbuement skill, we've got Corruption. 80% my amulet we've got pestilent points so 15% damage movement speed 24 three ranks of malice marksman damage every cast every third cast of puncher poison imbued with 218% not the max on that either then we got blade dance on the ring we got vulnerable damage crit strike chance damage to poison enemies resource regeneration with resource generation twisting blades in there 15% and then we got Ring of Burst in Venom, so we got Poison Damage, Lucky Hit Chance, Damage to Poison Enemies, Imbued Skill Damage. And obviously the Burst in Venom, and bur Bursting Venoms, 4,971. We've got the Stun Grenade, so the Vicious Heart. Wrathful Heart is the... what did it say on there? Oh, it's basically the, the status one, really, if you want to call it that. And then the last one, well, I didn't even use, I just put um, the gems in for the Topaz. Obviously combo points and then my skill board I've gone for Puncture 1, Twisting Blades 5, Enchanting Twisted Blades 1 and Improved Twisting Blades, 1 of Sturdy, 2 of Siphoning Strikes, we got 1 rank of Shadow Step but I've got Enhanced Shadow Step, method, uh, Methodical Shadow Step, Extra Stun, then we've got Weapon Mastery 3 for the bonuses and damage. 
Then I've gone for trap skills, poison trap one, just a little bit of damage there. Knocks down enemies also, and then increase poison damage, subverting poison trap. We've gone for one rank of dark shroud, plus enhanced dark shroud, and then we've got countering dark shroud, which gives me more, 8% more crit chance. I've gone for exploit three, and then on my amulet, I've got three malice. So we do 18% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Then we've got three ranks of precision imbuement, and that gives me more crit chance on imbued skills. Then we've got poison imbuement, nine out of five, enhanced poison imbuement, blended poison imbuement, critical strikes with poison imbued skills deal 75% increased poisoning damage. Then I went for deadly venom three for the extra poison, alchemical advantage for the attack speed, more DPS. Debilitating toxins, bit of defense as we're fighting quite close quarters. And you've seen how I kind of go toe to toe with Lilith as well. Alchemist Fortune for the increased lucky hit chance, 15%. Innovation, rank 3, up to 30% to gain energy, so kind of cool for the lucky hit chance. And then we got Adrenaline Rush 1 and Haste 1. And then we use close quarters combat. So there you go, folks. Uber Lilith done as promised. Um, this is my own unique build of the Paragon board. I went through scratch by myself. Um, so there is a board, I believe, that you can do seven kind of um, nodes. But this is my one that I went through personally. Like I said, this is all my own from scratch. I just went through it by myself. So I use efficiency or efficacy in the first one on the glyph on the first board. We went on the right. So we got damage here. Efficacy, as I said already, and then skillful damage, armor, dexterity, extra bit of damage there, some more vulnerable as well, somewhere I believe. Or just more damage again, yeah, more damage, more damage. Armor, go up here, go slayer, more armor, more potion healing, survivability, plus more DPS, basic skill damage. Sorry, doing so much DPS off the basic skill, extra, extra node there. Core skill damage plus basic skill damage. Now, core skill damage will affect your poison imbued damage as well. So it kind of scales off that, I believe. And then we got Bane, Glyph Socket there. Finish a rare node, move up to here. Then we got imbued skill for imbuer again. Eldritch Bounty, went up across here. Ready supply, non physical damage. Another more bonus for poison. Vulnerable damage again, more damage stacked. Intelligence. Then we got imbued skill potent again. Core skills, imbuement skills, keep stacking. And then I'll quickly go up here. Vulnerable, this is a dope one I got. Vulnerable damage, look at that vulnerable damage. And damage to injured enemies. A massive bonus, more vulnerable. Then I work my way up here, which will give you exploit weakness, which will do a lot of vulnerable damage and make en enemies vulnerable anyway. Then this one is a killer one. 32% damage to elites on top of all that, which is bonkers. Then we kind of reverse back up here. And then I put in a tracker in here, so more poisoning damage. Damage to poison enemies, and it lasts longer as well. So more ticks, more damage, more vulnerable damage, like I said, more strength. And then on top of all that, we've got cheap shot in here as well. So that's the legendary node. And then I managed to put combat in as well. So strike skills that critically strike, restore energy cost on top of that with a bonus. There you go, folks. We will lift done for you as promised. I'll release a full build video on breakdown of my rogue since it's so god tier with a penetrating shot, and I'll cover the rest for you. But yeah, man, there you go. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, and peace out, folks.